Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to talk about how I increased my sales just by doing a few things. Now, one thing to consider when you're selling online, it doesn't really matter the site, is that a lot of people do not just go to a specific site to search for some items. Now, that being the case, because many people realize now that there's multiple platforms, multiple sites, and if you just go to one site, you may not be getting the cheapest item out there. So what a lot of people do, they'll use Chrome or Firefox or whichever browser they're using and just type in an item that they're looking for straight from the browser. So depending on obviously where they're looking if they're looking on Chrome for example you've got Google Ads which will promote certain items based on how much money or how much advertising a specific company does eBay's had some issues with Google in the past so some items may not even show up on Google at all now no matter where you're selling the one way I have found to increase my sales was simply by cross-listing on other sites in some categories we sell, such as in postcards, we have increased our postcard sales by 30% by simply advertising on multiple platforms, such as HIP. Now, I've had questions on HIP and some other sites as well. HIP, it's HIP stamps, HIP postcards, and HIP comics. So if you type in, say, hippostcards.com, you will get to the site. Now, cross-listing does incur some fees. Now, if you're going to another site, some sites also offer automatic syncing, such as the HIP platform. All of my postcards, and I'm talking thousands, four or 5,000 postcards, are automatically synced from eBay up with HIP postcards. Now, it costs us roughly about eight bucks a month to have that service do it. Now, we also use Shopify, which helps us broadcast across multiple sites too. So I can list stuff that's on eBay, and I can have it cross-posted on Amazon. On Amazon, we have a $39.99 business account, so we don't pay a dime per listing. So I can just flood Amazon with collectibles and stuff and increase my sales. Again, it doesn't really matter as long as you are making a profit over and above the fees. As I said, some categories it's 30%. Many categories I'm making 15 to 25% increase in sales in those categories by having items on multiple platforms. As long as you are addressing the issue of taking something down once it sells, such as with Shopify, Sellbrite, or any of these other apps that will do that for you. And as I said, like with Hip Platform and some other platforms such as Banana, it will automatically sync with your store so you don't have a lot to lose depending on the fees a big consideration on this is that eBay is losing market share Amazon is gaining so are other platforms like Poshmark and McCrary they are gaining market share they are taking it away from obviously eBay for one example of sites so again people know that there's not just one source for anything anymore there's advertisements all over the place for this being on sale that being on sale many big name brand manufacturers and brick and mortar establishments are running discounts all the time on their own sites and challenging all these other sites such as eBay even on Amazon they're challenging some of those things as well so again broadcasting yourself out across many platforms is a way to get some more visibility without buying any more items you're literally using the items that you have right now now, if you don't have a third-party app, you're going to have to be very diligent so when something sells on one site, you remember to take it down on another. A lot of people will cross-list themselves from Amazon to eBay and then have to take stuff down at the end of each day to make sure they don't sell it twice, once on each site. But once you do figure that out and say you're using a third-party app, you're using Shopify, or you're using sites that automatically will pull in your items, you've got it solved there and you should see some movement. As I have said as well, there are fees associated with this. So weigh your fees before you do anything. Know how much another site will cost you. Now, just like eBay, many sites have a monthly fee as well as a final value fee or some equivalent to a final value fee. So weigh all of that in. I can tell you, though, without hesitation that every single month that we have had items cross-listed, we have made profits on every single site that we have cross-listed on without any doubt whatsoever. We have made considerable amounts of profit by doing that. That's, again, once the fees are paid and once everything else is done. Some cases, as I've said, in certain categories, we've got a 30% increase month by month by month 
over what we were doing in those same categories. The smallest amount of increase I have seen is 5% on some strange and oddball items. But overall, if it's something well collected like postcards, trade cards, comics, and things like that, cross-listing them has 100% increased our profits across the board. Again, I'm on multiple sites. That's the best way for me to have broadcast myself out and to get some more advertisement without doing much else other than cross-listing these items on other sites. Weigh your options, weigh your time. Now, if you only have a few hundred items, there's really not a big sense in going out to other platforms until you build up some inventory. Again, because it's not going to be worth the while to just list a few items on another site and hope you get something out of that. If you've got multiple, I mean a mass of certain items in certain categories, that is your best bet because then you can take a semi-dominant position from eBay and then go to other categories and other sites and dominate some more in those sites as well. It will will drum you up some more business. Again, look into the financials. Make sure you know how much it's going to cost you. Weigh your leverage on that. If you don't have many items, again, it won't be worth your time. This is a huge push for us. This has elevated our business without a doubt, as I have said. With all the changes in the market and eBay losing market share, this is the best way that I can see that will get you some more exposure. It's all about exposure. If you're not getting much exposure on eBay, dig into some other platforms that do offer and sell the same types of things and see what leverage you can get on them. Now, as long as you do this wisely, cross-listing can increase your sales without a doubt. Again, know what you're doing. Dig into the items. Make sure your listings are good to begin with. If you have bad items, though, or just terrible listings, cross-listing them will not fix that issue. You will just be broadcasting and cross-listing bad items somewhere else, which will probably not give you any leverage. Make sure you know what you're doing. Make sure your listings are good. That's one reason why I say to always have a certain percentage of your back background white, don't put other things in there, so you can cross list. Whenever we do listings these days, every single listing that we do is designed to be listed on multiple sites, every single listing. So just take that into consideration. But that's what I have for you today. Hopefully that gave you some solid thoughts on that. Hopefully that gave you some ideas. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. Calling. Over. This is Billy. I hear you real clear over my Johnny 7 micro helmet. Over. Get ready. Enemy approaching. It's the amazing new Johnny 7 micro helmet phone set. The first helmet ever with a built in phone. You get this walkie talkie with 30 feet of wire. You send and receive messages. Calling Donnie. I am ready to attack with Johnny 7 OMA, the one man army. Seven guns in one. Let's count them. One, it's a grenade launcher. Two, anti-armor gun. Three, anti-tank gun. Four, bullet-firing rifle. Five, Tommy gun. Six, anti-bunker gun. Seven, cap-firing pistol. There's no other gun like it. To be sure, look for Johnny 7 OMA, one-man army, and get the Micro Helmet phone set. Micro Helmet, Micro Helmet, Micro Helmet.